Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the culmination of the 2022 Armada festivities. This year marks 200 years since the naval battle of Spetses, which took place on the 8th of September 1822. What you are about to witness is the reenactment of one of the most important events in the Greek Revolution, the foremost act of Spetsiot heroism, a naval battle which decided the early course of the 1821 War of Independence to free Greece from almost 400 years of Ottoman rule. The militant actions of the Spetsiots against the Ottomans had begun long before 1821. They took part in the revolutionary movement of the Orlov brothers in 1770 and also that of Lambros Katsonis in 1790. However, the island paid a heavy price for its participation in these movements. It was burnt and perished. Historical and religious buildings were torched and the majority of the inhabitants were either slaughtered or forced to flee, mainly to the island of Kithia to the south. On the 3rd of April 1821, the Spetsiots became the first islanders to hoist the revolutionary flag, answering the call of their mainland brothers and demonstrating their undying thirst for the freedom of their homeland. They immediately began their revolutionary action, attacking the Ottoman vessels sailing the Aegean Sea. They took part in the naval blockades of the fortresses of Nathpio and Monimbasia and rallied to the cause the inhabitants of the islands of Hydra and Psara. By 1822, the Ottomans were determined to crush the Greek Revolution. Their fleet, strengthened with Algerian and Egyptian ships, entered the Aegean Sea, heading towards Nafplio, in order to liberate the city, which was being besieged by Spetses naval commander Lascarina Bubulina. Spetses and Hydra, which were the leading naval revolutionary forces in Greece at the time, stood in the way, and the intention was to destroy them en route. Due to its terrain, the island of Hydra was an impregnable natural fort, but Spetses was an easier target, and so the Spetsiots moved their civilian population to Hydra for protection, and boarded their ships in preparation for the coming battles. The leader of Spetses, Hadzianis Mixis, remained on the island with a small number of men, all of them determined to make the ultimate sacrifice for the defense of their home. On the 8th of September, 1822, the birth date of the Virgin Mary, the enemy fleet appeared to the east of Spetses. The Ottoman armada seemed invincible. Against this massive naval power, the Greek warships of Spetses, Hydra and Psara numbered a mere 56, with a further 16 fire ships. But the Greeks were determined to stand fast against this far superior fleet. The Turks began firing their cannons, but their shots did not remain unanswered and for five long hours the opposing fleets fired without rest. The smoke from the battle covered the entire area and on neighboring Hydra they believed that Spetses was burning. The naval battle was brought to an end by the attempt of Cosmas Barbatsis, a Spetsio fire ship captain to torch the Turkish flagship. The heroic action of this intractable Spetsio caused such terror and panic that the Turkish admiral was forced to order the retreat of his fleet. The efforts of these islanders not only saved Spetses, but also prevented the Ottomans from reaching and breaking the siege of Nafplio, which fell to the Greeks a short while afterwards. On the retreat of the Ottoman fleet, the Spetsiots gathered at the Cathedral of St. Nicholas and gave thanks to God, and especially to the Virgin Mary, to whom this great and decisive victory was attributed. In her honor, they built the church of Panagia Armata, at which they celebrate every year on the 8th of September. Each Greek who fought in the naval battle of Spetses will be remembered eternally, especially Cosmas Barbatsis, whose flaming torch will always illuminate a page of glory and triumph in Greek history, and will teach the generations to come that nothing in life, not even life itself, is worth more than national freedom.